senses don't operate out of it. Hebrews 12 verses 14 and 15 Pursue peace with all people and holiness without which no one will see the Lord. Looking carefully lest anyone fall short of the grace of God, lest any root of bitterness springing up cause trouble and by this many become defiled. The writer of Hebrews encourages us to pursue peace, follow peace with all people. That means maintain a peace in all relationships and all other interactions is what he tells us and walk in holiness without which you will not see God. And then he also tells us something uh, that will cause us to fall short of the grace of God. He says, be careful, don't fall short of the grace of God. Do this, do what? Make sure that there is no root of bitterness in your heart because this will spring up and cause trouble and many others will be affected. So here's something very important. You know, offenses come. Uh, people say and do things that hurt us, that cause us pain. Now, if you're not careful, this hurt can turn into bitterness. This hurt can turn into resentment or anger towards the person or the people or the individuals involved. And when you operate out of that bitterness, the writer of Hebrews says two things happen. You fall short of the grace of God and two, many become defiled. It's important that we must guard our heart from offense, from becoming offended. And it is very important not to operate out of our heart of offense. If in any case you've let that hurt you or you, you feel the pain and, and, and you're now going through that time when you're getting over that pain, be careful. Try not to operate out of that pain. Let, the, let God heal you and make you whole. Because when you operate out of that, that offense, you operate out of that spirit of bitterness, you fall short of the grace of God. You end up saying and doing things that will not be empowered by God's grace in your life. And secondly, it will cause others to be affected. There will be things that you say and do which will negatively affect people around you. It will defile them is what uh, the writer of Hebrews says. So guard yourself, protect others. Make sure you do not operate out of a heart of offense. Make sure that bitterness is taken out before you speak and say things uh, so that you don't fall short of the grace of God and you do not defile people around you. The best thing to do is to keep offense out of your heart. You have the choice to not to accept offense and it comes your way. Let's pray. Father, we pray you will help us guard our hearts. And I pray especially for people, God, who may be carrying offense, carrying bitterness, resentment, hate in their hearts because of what may have happened in the past. I pray that by your Spirit, you'll help us release it and let every bitterness, resentment, hatred leave our hearts. May there be healing inside of us, O oh God. I thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.